holiness is right. That's the, by the born again church choir. That's a blessing. You only can get in by being holy and right. Well, we welcome you to a time of reflection with New Destiny Ministries, where we are empowering souls for destiny. Our founding host is Evangelist Adrian Bernard, and I am your co-host, Sister Ruby, sitting in today for this segment, this part of it. A, to- uh, a Time of Reflection is a radio broadcast that will encourage, enrich, enhance, enlighten, and empower listeners to trust God in every area of their life, lives naturally and spiritually, and to pursue their God-given destiny without apologies. We are mandated to teach and preach the gospel of Jesus Christ as we stand firmly upon our foundational scriptures and are built the foundations and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. And you can find that I'm reading out the King James Version, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 20. Uh, we thank you so much for tuning in, and we're so excited today to have uh, our own a prophetess, Darlene Davis, bringing the word of life to us today. And, you know, she, she her, her ministry is prayer, praise, and deliverance. And she comes all the way to, from from Jacksonville, North Carolina, by the way, and she's we're in California, so you can hear it all over the nation and all over the world. So we're just so excited for this godly woman of God that comes on this broadcast daily and support God's people and God's word and the anointing that come powerful word of God that she presents to each and every one of us today. So we're so excited to have her come forth with the word of, of life and the bread today, and that's no, none other than Prophetess Darlene Davis, and uh, Prophetess Darlene Davis, you can op- uh, open up with prayer, and you can go forth with uh, what the Lord has given you for his people. Praise the Lord, uh, Prophetess. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for another day. We thank you for keeping us, God. We thank you for holiness is right. We thank you for your word, God. We thank you for your presence, God. We thank you, God, that we won't compromise. We thank you that we're the head and not the tail. We thank you that we're above and not beneath. We thank you that we're walking in your will. We're walking in your way, God. We thank you for keeping us, God. We thank you for who these shelter clothes, God. We thank you, God, for our health and our strength, God. We thank you for your blood covering, God. We thank you for being everlasting, God. We thank you for this broadcast. We thank you for each and every soul that comes on. We thank you for each and every caller, God. We thank you, God, for the overseer, God. We ask that you continue to keep her, cover her, strengthen her, restore her, breathe on her, God, in the name of Jesus. We ask them for your mighty will to continue to be in her life, God. Continue to use her, God. Continue to let her not compromise, God. Continue letting her walk in holiness, God. Continue blessing her and her family, God, in the name of Jesus. We ask that you touch Sister Ruby as she continues to co-host, God. Continue to anoint her with songs to play. Continue to anoint her, God, in everything she does and say, God, in the name of Jesus. So we come today, God, just saying, have your way. God, we ask that you move by your might, God. Uh, not our might, but your might, God. We ask that you blow, God. Give us a fresh rhema word, God. Give us a word. Give us some oil, God, in the name of Jesus. Give us a word that will keep us, that will keep us holding on to you, God, in the name of Jesus. Uh, we ask in God, Lord, that you look down upon the bereaved families, God, everywhere. Everyone that had lost their loved ones, God, this year and last year, God. We ask that you continue to send in your comforter, God, and take as you do so, God. We ask in God that you forgive me, God, for any sins, God. Anything I have said, done, thought, or even dreamt, or anything I did not do that I should have done in your will. I ask that you forgive me at this time, God. I ask that you let nothing stand in the way of these, your people, getting the word from you, God, not from me, God. As I open my mouth, you speak, God, in the name of Jesus. Have your mighty way, God, in the name of Jesus. Somebody needs some new rain, God. Oh, send them some rain somebody's way on today, God, in the spiritual realm, in the name of Jesus. Somebody don't know what to do. 
do on today. Give them hope, God, in the name of you. So we just thank you. We praise you. We come against every assignment, every attack, every hindering spirit that will try to exalt itself to keep the, um, the word from going forth. We come against it with the blood of Jesus. So, oh, God, we ask that you continue to clear the airways, God, in the name of Jesus, and the computers, God, in the name of Jesus. We ask that you cast the angels around the computers and the phones in the name of Jesus. Now we say we thank you and we serve you. Notice, Satan, you are not wanted. In the mighty name of Jesus, we plead the blood over you. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. We praise you. Amen, everybody. Hallelujah. Thank God. That song was the first time I heard that song. It was such an encouragement to me. Holiness is right. Hallelujah. And we won't compromise. So I thank God because I said I refuse to compromise, even in the word. I refuse to compromise. So I said, let your will be done. So I thank God for this great opportunity. Um, This is the month of freestyling. This is the last day. So I do thank God for being a part of this freestyle. I thank God for this broadcast. I thank God for Pastor um, Bernard. I just thank God for her. I just thank God for how she's been encouragement to my ministry, and she's been encouragement to me and so many other people. She is walking the will and doing the will of the Lord. So I just thank God for her, and I pray many blessings upon her even the more. And I just thank God for what this broadcast stands for and the anointing that reigns is on this broadcast. So I give God praise on today. I lift them up. I thank God. I'm telling you, I. I got to come behind some great, great preachers and great teachers. Tell you, the word has been refilling to me all month long. I tell you, I've been singing songs in my spirit. I've been lifted up, and I have been encouraged and been strengthened by the word, each and every teacher and preacher. So I just want to thank each and every one of you again for speaking, and each and every one of you callers for even taking the time out to listen, listen to this broadcast and listen to me on today. But I'm praying that God does a great and mighty move on today like never before in your life. I'm praying after you hang up that you will be set free, that you'll be strengthened, that you'll be encouraged, that you won't go back, that you'll go continue to go forward because holiness is right. So I just thank God on today. I give him praise, and I do give him honor, and I lift him up because he is worthy, hallelujah, to be praised. And we have prayed, and we're going to Psalms 145. Praise God. And this is David's psalm of praise. I will exalt thee, my God, O King, and I will bless thy name forever and ever. I'm reading the first verse through the fourth verse, and then I will be skipping down to the to the tenth and the eleventh and closing with the twenty first verse. And I'm reading out excuse me, out of the King James Version. So I will start again with the first verse. And that is Psalm one hundred forty five, David Psalms of praise. I will bless, I will exalt thee, my God, O King, and I will bless thy name forever and ever. Every day I will bless thy name forever and ever. Greatly is thy Lord and greatly to be praised, and his greatness is unsearchable. One generation shall praise thy works to another and shall declare thy mighty acts. That's one through four. Now I am skipping down to the tenth and eleventh verse. All thy works shall praise thee, O Lord, and thy saints shall bless thee. Thou shalt speak of thy glory of the kingdom and talk of thy power. Praise God. And on the twenty-first verse, my mouth shall speak of thy praises of the Lord, and let all thy flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. Hallelujah, my mouth shall speak of the praises of the Lord, and let all flesh bless his name forever and ever. Not some people, but all people. Hallelujah, not some of the times, because it says every day on the second verse, I will bless thee, and I will praise thy name forever and ever. Every day, when I feel good, I'll bless them. When I don't feel good, I'll still bless them. When things are going bad, I'll bless them. When things are going good, I'll bless them. When I don't understand, I'll praise them. 
You got to praise him anyhow. And Psalm 34 talks about, I will bless the Lord at all times. Hallelujah. So we got to lift him up at all times. And today I will be talking about praises. I will be talking about how to get your praise back if you lost it. I will be talking about how to keep your praise, how to take your praise to another level. Um, talking about the spiritual and the natural praise. I will be even talking briefly about um, some of the meanings of praise. Today I'll be also talking about Whatever else God wants me to talk about, I'm just going to let them flow because yesterday the man of God spoke on let it flow. So I'm saying, God, let it flow, let it flow. I wrote some notes, but I was led not to even read them. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But during this time of this reading and this uh, uh, teaching or preaching, um, I will be praising the Lord every once in a while, lifting and magnifying the name of the Lord. I will be doing a, a, a in your hearing I will be doing um, an illustration. I will be lifting up the name of God. That's part of the uh, message on today, since we will be talking about praises. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody need to give them some praise even right now. Hallelujah. Because it was God that took you through the day. If it had not been for Jesus on your side, where would you be? Hallelujah. If it had not been for God, you would have been turned down that place. You would have been turned down on things if it wasn't for God. You would have been gave up if it wasn't for God. You would have been backslid if it wasn't for God. But God, but God. Hallelujah. I know everybody got a but God situation in their life. I know everybody got some things that they can say, well, God, I don't know if I can make it. But I'm telling you today. Today, people, before I even start, you can make it. If you can make it, if you just keep on praising them. You can make it if you keep on praying. You can make it if you keep on fasting. You can make it if you keep on trusting your Lord because he is the way maker. And I'm telling you on today, it's some promises that he has made. Um, for us, and he has said to us, and he shall not lie, and he shall do just what he said he shall do. He shall never leave us or forsake us. He shall do just what the promise that he has made to us. I hold on to the promise of promise. Hallelujah. It wasn't in my message, but God is saying a promise is a promise, and he said he shall not lie. Hallelujah. He shall perform it. Some of you are so close to your miracle. Some of you are so close to your blessing. Don't give up now. Keep praising your God. Keep lifting up the name of God. Keep serving King of kings and lords of lords. Keep on worshiping them. It's not in vain. Hallelujah. You can make it. You can do all things through Christ that strengthen you. You know, sometimes you may say, you don't understand. I'm going through this, that, and other. But he brought you through that. He'll bring you through this. Hallelujah. Because that's what kind of God we serve. So I just want you all to give him a wave off him right now. Hallelujah. Because, see, this is demonstration time. Hallelujah. We are going to magnify the Lord. Some people's praise has been stifled through the enemy, but it's been counseled out today. We Show lift up the name of the Lord. Every assignment, every attack, I count you out in the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Some people's minds have been so hindered in the body of Christ, the Lord is saying, that we can't fully give him his praise. But God is calling us to praise him because then where we're going in this next season, we got to praise him. Hallelujah, like never before. We got to be like David, but we, we got to praise him in season and out of season. We got to praise him in the morning. Hallelujah. We got to praise him in the afternoon. We got to praise him in the evening. We got to praise Praise him every day. Hallelujah. I, as I was saying, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Have your way, God. Have your way. As I was saying, um, also we're talking about praises in the natural. Um, and the word praise, um, some of the definitions, one is honor. One is um, appreciate. One is um, acknowledge. One, one is um um, acknowledge one is um, compliment, one is gratitude. So I just want to say in, in that saying that keep on lifting up the name of Jesus. God is going to perform what he said he's going to perform. And in the natural, back to the natural, in the natural, we sometimes see people and we say, we like your shoes, we like your dress, we like your suit, we like your tie. And we, we compliment people and we give them compliment, we give them acknowledgement, we give them, you know, and sometimes we have birthday parties and um, celebrations and um, anniversaries to celebrate pastor's anniversary, the usher anniversary. And sometimes we have different functions that we go to and we give our last money and we give our last, you know, we might prepare a meal for that occasion. We might prepare um, a financial uh, a love seed. We might prepare. Um, and sometimes we have to take extra time. We may have only planned to be at that event that certain time of three hours or two hours, but that event may run into six hours. So we sacrifice, 
and that time we sacrifice our money. Sometimes we sacrifice um, preparing meals. We sacrifice sometimes, you know, even going, getting people um, gifts, uh, uh, love gifts and um, gifts, uh, clothing, different things. And we sometimes we sacrifice very big, more than we, you know, plan to. But we sacrifice because we do it in love. We do it because we're concerned. We do it because we care. We could do it because... We might love that pastor or love that uh, the usher boy. Uh, we just want to show our recognition. We just want to search, show our gratitude. We just want to give them um, compliments. We just want to give them acknowledgement. We just want to give them encouragement. So we do those kind of things just to do that. Well, how much more should we do for the Father, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, Alpha and Omega, El Shalom, Jehovah Jireh, our Great One? How much more should we do for him? How much more should we praise him? We should not be at the point when something comes up in our life, we don't feel like praising him. We should not be at the point where we praise him sometimes and sometimes we don't. We should praise him in season and out of season. God is calling us in these last days. These are the last days to God be the glory. God is calling us up higher in him. He's calling us not to baby five the spirits, to get rid of those spirits that's lingering in us. You know, through the word that has came forth on this broadcast, we have truly been blessed, but there is some people still holding on to some things. I know it was something that I had to let go before I could give this message because, see, I had to be first partaker, and God was saying, praise me, continue to praise me in season and out of season because it's not to hurt you the things that we go through is to make us strong, is to make us have a testimony, is to make take us to another level. It's for our ministry. It's for the making of God to get the glory. He said, but I can't get the glory out of your life if you won't praise me. He said, I can't get the glory out of your life, I'll say it again, if you don't praise me, a full praise. And my theme was it's time to give God the full praise that's due to him. I left out my thing. It's time to give God the full praise that's due to him. Hallelujah. Not 10%, not 20%, not 90%, but 100%. Hey, now I shall not the full praise that's due to him. Because, see, some of us should not even be here. Ah, because if the devil had his way, we would have been gone a long time ago. Huh? Ah, hallelujah. I got some testimonies where guns was to my head. Hallelujah. But it was nobody but God that kept me. Huh? And so I'm saying to you, I have no other choice but to praise him. Ah, I know things look dark and dim sometimes. Sometimes I know you don't know what to do, where to go, but God said, just wait on me. Huh? And while you're waiting, be of good courage. Huh? While you're waiting, praise me. Some of you need to dance around your home huh? to cast out some things that's up in your home. Huh? He said, some of you need to go forth like never before. Huh? Ah, this is the season. The old man of God talked about overflow. Huh? And it is the season of blessings. It is the season of prosperity. It is the season that God's going to blow our minds. Huh? It is the season that God going to do some things, uh, but he wants us to flow in the spirit. Uh, and we can't flow in the spirit if we don't have the power of prayer. We can't flow in the spirit if we don't fast and pray. Uh, we can't flow in the spirit if we're not reading our word. Uh, we can't sp- flow in the spirit if we don't love one another. We can't flow in the spirit if we won't let go. Uh, God said, let go today. Come up and come out. Uh, come out of Egypt and don't go back. Uh, go walk into the promised land where the milk and honey is. Uh, walk into the things of God. Uh, walk into he has so much for you. Uh, he has so much for you and he wants to do so much in your life. Uh, he said, just praise me. Uh, I know it don't look right. Uh, I know all things going around don't look right. It don't seem right. I know you may be having problems with your children. I know you may be having problems with your husband or your wife. But God said, praise me in season and out of season. Praise me in the morning. Praise me in the afternoon. Praise me in the evening. Praise me when you feel like praising me. Praise me when you don't feel like praising me. And I shall move for thee. And I shall bless thee. He said, I'm calling you up to a higher praise. Those that are praising me, continue to praise me, but I'm getting ready to take you into a worship of praise. I'm getting ready to take you into a ayanamashanda, into a place that you have never been to before. 
and worship and praise, uh, that you can hear me even the more, uh, that you can, ah, uh, yeah, now my son, feel my presence, ah, uh, because my glory uh, is in you. Uh, he said, those that's been praying and fasting, uh, that's been holding on, uh, he said, continue to hold on. Uh, I am going to move. Uh, I am going to turn things around. Uh, I am going to tear down, build up, because uh, I am God, says the Lord. Ah, uh, uh, somebody said they were looking for a word today. Uh, God said, I am God, I am king of kings. Why won't you fully praise me? Ah, God saying, praise me. Come up, come up, come up, come up, come up and come out. Come out, come out. Ah, don't receive. Don't receive those things that's negative. Speak into your own spirit. Speak into your own life. Prophesy to your own self. Ah, prophesy the goodness. Some people have had words spoken to them that was not of God, huh? that was not good, huh? that was bad even from a childhood. Huh? He said, I brought you through that, huh? and I'll bring you through this. Huh? And he said, ah, but don't receive those words. Huh? Cancel them out. We cancel them out right now in the name of Jesus. Huh? Every assignment, every curse, generation curse, huh? we cancel you out with the blood of Jesus right now huh? in the name of Jesus. Huh? He said, you got to take authority huh? over the enemy. Huh? He has gave you the power huh? and authority. Huh? The Oh, God, I ask you to cover, continue to cover their minds uh, in your blood. Huh? He said, ah, we're still talking about praises. Huh? He said, I will do what I said I'm going to do. Huh? All I need you to do huh, is praise me. Huh? He said, I gave you some instructions. Huh? Follow the instructions. Huh? Be obedient. Huh? Trust. Huh, wait huh, uh, in him. Huh, uh, stay out of those places that's not of him. Huh, separate yourself huh, from the people that's not connected with him. Huh. He said, ah, be holy as he is holy. Huh. He said, lift me up. Huh, magnify me, huh, and I shall move for thee. Huh. Ah, we thank you, Lord. We praise mm. God today. We lift him up today. We exalt him today, hallelujah, because he is worthy to be praised. Huh? Uh, David didn't feel like praising him all the time because things was not always great in his life, but he praised him anyhow. You got to praise mm. him anyhow. Hallelujah, anyhow. It can't be predicated on what you feel, huh? what you feel like. Hallelujah. And every assignment that God gives you, and he's speaking to me also, huh? Get, take it. Hallelujah. You can't be walking in doubt, fear, insecurity, low self esteem. You have to walk in the presence of God. You got to flow in the spirit. You got to walk in the Holy Ghost boldness. Huh? You got to trust right. him. Huh? Not just on Monday. You got to trust him Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Huh? You got to trust him. Hallelujah. Well, sometimes we trust in things, people, places. But God said, trust me. Huh? Sometimes we give people compliments, and there's nothing wrong with that. Huh? If a person looks good, they only look good. If they don't, don't say nothing. Hallelujah. Because we should be speaking good words to encourage our brother and our sister. Hallelujah. And I said, God, I just want to stop by to encourage the people. What do you want me to tell them? He said, I told, tell them, I said, hold on, wait on me. Don't give up. Don't give up. And he said also, just keep praising me. Uh, you may not understand what the praise is about. You might not, under on, not understand now. what you're going through. You may hey. be looking dark and dim. Uh, people may have forsaken you. People may have lied on you. Uh, people that you thought was going to be with you till the end might have gave up on you on the first day, second day, the month, second. But God said, I'm bringing a new shift in. I'm doing a shift and now. a changing of the guards. I'm, I'm lifting things up. I'm changing things around. Uh, this time around, Pastor Bernard, hallelujah, it's going to be an overflow. It's going to be a blessing. Come on. Uh, hey, uh, the, on. This time around, God's going to do greatness in your life, says the Lord. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And they will see and they will know, and I will make your enemies your footstool, says the Lord. Mm -hmm. And I shall bring you blessings like never before, even blessings that you have not even asked. For. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. And I hear that your grandchildren are covered. Hallelujah. Under the blood. Because huh? see something in the prayer. Huh? God is saying to us it's something hey. about praying. And see the powers in prayer. Mother told us. Hallelujah. I like when you know when I come at the end so that I can just follow up on with some of the things. 
she talks about power of prayer. God said we won't have any power if we don't have any praise. Hallelujah. Mm. We won't have any power if we don't pray. Hallelujah. We won't ah. have any power if we don't fast. We don't we won't have any power if we don't let that thing go. And he said, tell the people to let it go today. Huh? Let it let go. It Whatever's go. holding them down, whatever's holding them back, come up and come up. Right, huh? Let it go today. Huh? And don't pick it back up because there's too much word on this line, too much power on this line for come us on. to keep picking things up and putting it back down. Leave it to Jesus. Leave it at the altar today. And don't claim it. He says, speak the word over your life. Speak the word over yourself and know that he is God. Hallelujah. Why won't you serve him? Give him the full praise. Hallelujah. Why won't you? And the praises is due to him. And the word was, pray, his praises, his praises, the praises are due to him. Hallelujah. Give him his full praise. That was the thing. Mm. Give God. It's time to give God the full praise. Hallelujah. Because mm. see, some people have been giving him 10%. Some people have been giving him 90%. But those people that's been praising God, the 100%, the mothers, Pastor Bernard, and so on and so on and so on. We want to call everybody's name. Hallelujah. Because this is about Jesus today. But yeah. those that have been praising him, those that have been leading ah, not to their own understanding and been letting God acknowledge their ways, God is going to bless them. But he wants to take them into another realm of worship. He wants to take us into another realm of praise. He wants mm. to take us into to another realm of place uh, in him that we hear his voice so clearly. Uh, that we hear his word, uh, that we be doers of his word even more. Huh? He said he's ordering our footsteps. Uh, shandal, baba, shandal. He's also telling me to tell y'all, get ready, get ready, get ready for the miracles and the blessings, but get ready and put your whole armor on. Ephesians 6. If you don't know what part of the armor it is and what part you should have on, he said, because some people putting half on, some people taking it off, on, off, on, off, on, off, on. But God said, keep mm. your whole arm on because there's a war keep going on, on in the spiritual right. realm. There's a war going on. There's a war going on. He wants us to be ready for the battle. He wants us to fight Come the on. battle. But how can you fight in the battle when you're uh, dipping and dabbing, ah, when you're doing wrong, when your mind is confused, when you don't know what to do? Huh? You don't mm. have to worry about that. That's a small thing. That's a light thing that you're going through. It sounds heavy. It looks heavy. It feels heavy. But God said it's a light thing to him because he is Jehovah Jireh. He is El Shalom. He is the mm. mighty one. Do you know who you're serving today? He said, I am king of kings. Uh, yes, Daniel mm. was one of the kings. But he said, I am king of kings. That means kings of all rules, all of everything. Hallelujah. So can he do that small thing? Can he do that thing that you think is great? Huh? He said, but all I need you to do is trust me and obey. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. And I said mm. I will be doing a live demonstration in your hearing. You cannot see it. I said every once in a while as I speak, I will be doing a live demonstration of praise. And I, this is time I'm taking out for a praise break. I ask that you join me. If you don't want to join me, it's okay. Hallelujah, because I don't mind mm. praising them by myself. Hallelujah. Because I on. hear music in my ear. Hallelujah. Hey, I will oh, bless the Lord. Oh, Hallelujah. Oh, I will that. praise him. Hallelujah. Because all oh. I went through, hallelujah, I ain't got time to wait whether you want to join me in. Hallelujah. But you ought to join in because he's been somebody's doctor. He's been somebody's lawyer in the courtroom. He's been somebody's provider. He's been so good yeah. to us. He brought us out of darkness into the world of light. Hallelujah. He saved us. So, so we ought to praise him. Hallelujah. We praise the king, other kings. We praise the president. There ain't nothing wrong with that. We praise the cars, the houses, the lands, different things. Oh, man, that looks good. Oh, you know, we give compliments. You know, we give honor. And give honor where it is due. Hallelujah. Mm. But uh, <laughs> it's nothing like praising the true king. Hallelujah. 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 Give him the highest praise because he is worthy of the uh, praise. He worthy. is worthy. We have praised some people that wasn't worthy. Now I'm going to step on some toes. We have gave money to some pastors, and, you know, just going along with the um, – uh, the anniversary, the situation, and they weren't worthy. Maybe you didn't, but I did. And I, you know, I had to, I had to repent. I had to repent. You know, because God never told me to give that seed. You know, give the seed where it's supposed to be given at. But hallelujah! But I thank God because there's a time where you should grow up. 
it's a time God is saying we still, some of us are still at the same stage we was 10 years ago when we first got saved. Hallelujah. Our praise should be different. Our words Come should be on different. Now. Even the way of our preaching, teaching, and prophesying, or whatever mm-hmm. you call to do. Because, see, you may not be a fivefold ministry, but your ministry is important to God. I just want to stop by to tell you, you are important to God. So the devil is a liar. Get him out your mind. Get him out your life. Get him out your home. Get him out your spirit. Because he is a liar. You have importance. You have a purpose. So I say walk in your purpose today. Walk in the will of God. Waste no more time because we're out of time. We're out of time. Right. The king is soon to come back, and he's looking for a church without a spot or wrinkle. So we're mm-hmm. running out of time. Win those souls that God has called you to win. Do the work that God has called you to do. When you get your mind focused on Jesus, hallelujah, you'll forget all the things around you. You'll forget about the circumstances. Hallelujah. Because either you're walking by faith, are you walking by sight? What is it today? Mm. You can't walk by both. Huh? Either you're serving one God and you'll hate the other. What is it today? I ask you, who will you serve today? Who will be mm. your Lord today? Hallelujah. Mm. And if God is your Lord, we thank God to keep the Continue to let them be your Lord. We come against any assignment that comes against the fivefold, the pastors, that they will continue to go forth in the name of Jesus, that they won't get weary and well-doing and everyone that has uh-huh. a ministry, prayer ministry, a broadcast. We come against those assignments that, ah, oh, Mama Shanda, those attacks, oh, and we come against that glory. filthy, stinking demon right now. We come tearing them down. We come destroying the yoke. We come pulling every stronghold down, and we plead the blood over the, over the uh, ministries, over the broadcasters, over the prayer mm. lines over the churches, that they shall go forth. I speak. Hallelujah. You want a word? I speak in the name of Jesus. I can't do nothing in my name, but I can do something in Jesus' name. So I speak Jesus as a prophet in the name of Jesus. You shall go forth and you shall do what God calls you to do. Whether you're a pastor, whether you're a bishop, whether you're apostle, whether you're evangelist, whether you're a missionary, whether you're a minister, whatever, elder, whatever your calling is, you shall go forth and do what God has called you to do. Mm. So I say to you, Get up and rise and let give mm. God the glory. Get up and rise and praise God. Get up ah. and rise and lift him up. Get up and rise and magnify him. Get up and tell someone about Jesus. the goodness of Jesus. Get up and tell someone about hey, the goodness of Jesus. Know. Get up and magnify him. Get up and exalt him. Get up. Get up. Hallelujah. He's worthy. Get up and rise. Hallelujah. If God called you to rise three, four, five, six o'clock in the morning, whatever time it is, get up that time and rise and preach the word, read the word, pray, pray. Whatever God's calling you to do, pray in season and out of season. It's time to pray like never before. So I say, if you want the power of God, you want the power of God, the real power of God, hallelujah, continue to praise him. Hallelujah, you will see a difference. I tell you, I, I command you on today. Those that's listening, that's been having problems, that's been going through, some people haven't even spoken on the line. Um, but if, I, if you just 21 days, 21 days of praise, and just mm. go forth and look in that mirror every day and prophesy to your own self, huh? Come whether on, it be man. morning, noon, or night, I bet you will be a turnaround. I not bet you. I turn tell you, there Thank will you. be a turnaround, and there will yes. be a shift in the atmosphere. There will be a mm. change in mm. your heart. I speak it. In the name of Jesus, I, I prophesy on. to you today, huh? no more delay. Hallelujah. No, no more, more delay. delay. No more like doubt. That. No more doubt. And believe me, I had some notes. I never got to look at them. I'm just flowing in the spirit. I thank God for the man of God. Go ahead. I wrote the notes. I wrote the notes. I had to throw them away. Then I wrote the notes again. And then yesterday I went over because, you know, God gave me the message, you know, uh, uh, several days ago. And when the woman of God said Thursday was open, I was supposed to say, Amen, and take the slack because God told me Thursday. So I thank God. So it must be something he wanted to say today. So I mm. give him the praise. I give him the glory. Hallelujah. Mm. It's not about me, but it's about him. So I said, God, is something, you know, that I said, well, I think everything was spoken. That's what I feel. But God is saying, oh, he's telling goodness. us today, praise me in season and out of season. Lift me Come up. On. Hallelujah. Don't look at the darkness. Don't look at the situation. Don't look at the people. Don't even listen to those naysayers and those negative people. Disconnect from the people that 
mean you no right. good. That's talking negative. If they're not fasting, if they're not praying, if they're not seeking God, if they're not praising God, and if their holiness is right, that was the song today. Holiness. That was my first time that hearing that song. Oh, but it's, hallelujah. Holiness is right. Hallelujah. Right. And God right. said, don't compromise. He told me before, I came on, don't compromise. So that was the right song because I was listening and I said, hallelujah, I don't want to compromise. So he said, tell me, tell the people what I want you to tell them. So I said, okay, God, I'll open my mouth and you speak. So I thank God he's speaking on today. Hallelujah. Mm. And he's speaking to all of us. And he said, just trust me. Wait on me. Be obedient. Walk by faith and not by faith. Hallelujah. And he's, I'm hearing the rain is coming. The rain is coming. But you yeah, must you trust know. him. You yeah. must praise him. You must magnify him. Hallelujah. It's a must. It's a command. Hallelujah. That you must. Hallelujah. And not 10%, not 20%, not 15%, but 100%. His yeah. total was total a due to him. Was total due to him. Hallelujah. You know, y'all have some things that are due to y'all, but you, it's held up because you won't praise him, some of you. Hallelujah. Some of you are held up because you won't pray. So I'm like, hallelujah. But some of you, hallelujah, your due season is here. Hallelujah. Oh, your blessed season is here. Your promised season is here. Hallelujah. Right. It's not coming. It's here. Hallelujah for some of you. Hallelujah. Because you've been praying, waiting, fasting, and seeking God. You've been living holy. Hallelujah. I hear somebody might even be saying, I can't do it. I can't live holy. Well, I'm here to tell you how I said I couldn't do it. I, I couldn't live holy. I, I had to have mm. a man. But I realized the only man I had to have was Jesus. I, I can all live right. holy. I will live holy because I can do all things through Christ that mm. touches me. Hallelujah. I can't do it without him. Hallelujah. And don't want to do anything without him. So I come today to say, be encouraged, saints. Continue praising him. Continue giving him that total praise that's due to him. Hallelujah. And as I'm ending, I'm ending on the 21st verse. My mouth shall speak the praises of the Lord. And let mm. all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. It doesn't say, Pastor Bernard, just Pastor Bernard, praise him. Sister Ruby, mm. praise him. It says, all flesh. Hey, now, ah, Sunday. It says, all flesh. Praise him. Hallelujah. Mm, and where mm. it says, my mouth, put your name there. Hallelujah. And it said, let all flesh praise praise his name. It says, not just Monday, forever, ever. Not just mm. Tuesday, forever and ever. Praise uh-huh. his name. Hallelujah. If you want the power of God, if you want to do great miracles and signs and wonders, if you want to be in the remedy, if you want to be in mm. God's will, if you want to walk holy, if you want to walk in the blessings of God, you got to lift him mm. up. God bless you all. Mm. Lift him up. Mm. Praise his name. Hallelujah. Mm. Yeah, God. Hallelujah. Hey. Ah, He's God. worthy of the praise. He's worthy of mm. the praise. Glory, ah, glory, your gosh, glory, glory. Ah, you may be praising high, mama, it's a man that ain't even worthy. Hallelujah. And if anybody is shacking up that's listening on this line, holiness is right. You got to leave it alone. God bless. Mm. Holiness mm. is right. Praise mm. God bless you all. Hallelujah. Holiness. Hallelujah is right. She didn't preach. Turn it back she in the hand. Spoke a word today. Hallelujah. 